What's up guys? Today in this video, I wanna be doing a full blown tutorial on how to use and implement messenger bots. What's the purpose of them? What's the best way to use them? And how do you actually start using them? So make sure you stick all the way through this video because it's gonna save you an enormous amount of time. The reason I'm making this video right now is because when I first tried to create my first messenger bot, it took me so long to figure everything out. So I wanted to make this comprehensive video for you to go from A to Z, how to set up a messenger bot, what the purpose of them are, what the benefits are, and whether or not you should use one for whatever kind of purpose you're doing. This video is gonna save you a ton of time, so I hope you stick to the end. But other than that, let's get right into it. So first in this video, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of why you should use messenger bots, whether you should use them or not, whether you should waste your time with them or not. And and then from there, I'm going to go and walk you guys step by step how to create a messenger bot sequence, how you can implement it. Because like I said, this is this is something that was extremely confusing for me to learn at the very beginning. So I just w wish I would have had someone to walk me through it step by step. So if you guys want to skip to just the tutorial section, you can go into later in the video. But if you want to like, I also think it's really important if you stick through this part as well to learn more about why you should be using messenger bots and whether they're worth your time or not based on what you're trying to do. So I want to guys show you some real life examples of some messenger bots in action that I've personally been subscribed to. So this one right here is uh, Alex Becker's messenger bot. I mean, he kind of use it like, and you're going to see a lot of different styles that other people use this. Um, basically the way that they work is there's some kind of opt-in message. It, there's so many different ways you can join the chat. You can join a chat pot or get set up on a chat bot. There's, you can have like a button. You can have, uh, if you message a certain thing to this person, then you're going to get started on the chat bot. There's a lot of different options, which I'll go over later. But really, this is what it looks like. So what he did basically, he had it so that you comment something and then he sends you an automatic message. So the way he kind of used it, it was like an email. So he had this first opt-in thing. And it was for like a free course or something. And then from there, he just continues to send out like updates, emails, etc. That's He kind of uses it mostly as like a broadcast. So it's basically like, think about it this way. It's basically the same exact thing, sending out a bulk email to your, your subscriber list. He's like, oh, he sends out when he goes live and stuff like that. Just like exactly like that. Now, the main benefits of the messenger bot compared to something like an email list, one the biggest thing, of course, is the open rates are much higher. 80% is the is the average for messenger bot right messenger bots right now compared to email being 20% or less. Actually, normal email rates are probably like 3% or something like that, but it depends on what kind of emails you're sending. So the reason that is is mainly because so few people like everybody checks their Facebook messengers. They're excited. They think the for a friend. Everybody gets so excited when they see that little like uh, that red notification in the corner of their Facebook, like you always want to check. You guys know what I'm talking about. And as you can see, like I have opened every single one of his messages because I just open the messages, whether I read them doesn't always happen. But sometimes if you use like a little headline, that's very, that's a very key thing. So what's another example? This is the one where they had like just a button on their Facebook ad or a Facebook page. And, and basically it gives you like a free PDF. Boom, it does like automated sequences and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. They give little options. Like there's so much, you can literally do anything with these messenger bots. It is like nearly insane. So what, why would you use a messenger bot? What's the purpose? So like I said, you can re use it to replace an email list. You can also use it for landing pages. So let me show you what it's landing pages if you don't know already. Like if you're running a social media marketing agency, you're running ads to generate leads. This is a landing page. Um, it's a free training and they put in their name and email. You can uh, replace this whole page with a, with a messenger bot instead. Like I could put this video, have this video sent to them in the messenger bot and start to send them more messages in a sequence so that it builds the rapport and I can ask them for their email. They can put that in and I can ask them for their name. Well, we already have their name because it's through Facebook. That's one of the other benefits. So since you actually have the person's Facebook page, another huge benefit is if you want to, you can go in and personally message that person um, rather than, for example, a normal way you contact somebody, um, would be to like, if you're doing a, a landing page like this for a business and you're collecting phone numbers to be able to call the leads up, uh, you're gonna have to call every single one of those leads and not everybody answers. But if you do it on Facebook, the, I've actually noticed my, some of my clients do this is messaging the people on Facebook is actually really effective because they're like, Oh shit, like they have my name and everything. It's like personally connected and you can, you can literally like if they wanted to, they could go in and personally message me and start a conversation with me if they wanted to now at this point. That's why this is extremely, extremely powerful. 
So that's another huge way to use it. The reason, the main reason I'm going to use it is for the, the really high uh, open rate. And then also the fact that I can personally connect with all of the people that are subscribed to it. So it's a lot easier for me to respond in Facebook Messenger. The open rates are much higher and it just feels like more of a, a personal connection. Whereas the email is just kind of like, it's, a, it's an email. Like there's not really, there's nothing really personal about it. Like Facebook ads, it, there's a Facebook page connected to it. Then you can, you can read their personality. You can see their picture, uh, et cetera. That's why I really like messenger bots. And that's just something I'm going to get into huge in the future for my own brand. Uh, I'm going to be mostly building this instead of an email list from now on. Now email list is still very important to build best to build both in case like something crazy happens, like your Facebook gets shut down. It's always important to have a backup, no matter what kind of marketing you're using. You don't want to stick with one method method. So that's just that. Um, so that's pretty much all the main ways you can use messenger bots. And I don't mean to carry you guys on right now. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning this right now is because you need to be able to understand all the different ways you can use them to decide whether it's worth your time or not to set this up. That's why I want to go over this first. And then we're going to get into the tutorial session. So let me show you guys an example of a way I use this for a client. So a very strong way I've used this for clients is to do some kind of a giveaway or a free something. You get them on your messenger bot list. And then from there you can send them special offers, special newsletters, reminders. So for example, this is messenger bots are so perfect for businesses like restaurants. So you get them on your messenger bot list with some kind of giveaway. And then from there you can literally send them deals every day if you wanted to. Um, and of course people can unsubscribe at any time, but you can literally send them daily deals. And now you don't have to run a new Facebook ad every day. And that's a lot better than email because email opt open rates are so much lower. You're going to get a huge email open rate from your, your restaurants, Facebook ads. And this is, I'm just using a restaurant example to, to show you guys what I mean, but uh, I can show you this way here that I actually got some, uh, I'm going to create one for you guys live here in a second. But first I want to show you an example of one that I ran for a bakery that creates wedding cakes. So you can see I did a give, uh, I did a $50 off coupon for a wedding cake. I targeted people on a Facebook ad that was, that basically showed some pictures of some wedding cakes that this bakery had made. And I made a special offer. You can get $50 off if you uh, comment like 50 off below or something like that. So then when they comment on that Facebook post, they, they get this message and sent to their inbox here. Um, yeah, see, this is the post right here. You can actually read it right now. So the people comment, and when it comments, it automatically triggers a message to be sent to these pers these people. So you can see here, and I'll show you in a sec. Um, I'm going to show you how to create one of these, but this is what it says when the first thing goes. So you have to set it up this way. Hey, your name. To finish claiming your voucher for your $50 off a of beautiful wedding cake, please reply back with cake. And then it starts them. It subscribes them to the sequence. The reason this is kind of like a double opt-in in a way because we want to have them comment and to actually get them on, uh, ManyChat doesn't allow you to uh, do kind of a double opt-in. And real quick, the reason I use ManyChat, it's just the most popular one. When you compare it to other ones, some other ones have better features. But overall, this is the easiest one to use. I tried out uh, two or three of them. But overall, this is the easiest one to use. So this is the one I would suggest for a beginner unless you're trying to do some really, really advanced stuff. And if you're trying to do something advanced, then you can kind of look into what the differences are there. But for the most part, this is going to be able to handle everything that you need. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So what happens after that? Send some sends a message to people that reply, and basically it subscribes them then to a sequence. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this set this up in a second. So you have to use a growth tool. The first, like just to introduce you guys to the to the program here, ManyChat. They have this dashboard. You have a page where you can choose your page. You can you have your audience over here. Like this is where you can see how your subscribers. You like I said earlier, you can start live chats with people. So this is really good for someone like a real estate agent. You get people to message you. You can build a rapport straight through here. You already have their name. Uh, you can just message them straight through Facebook. And that's a really good way to, to build a rapport. And people are a lot more likely to respond than through email. So from there, you can use growth tools. And this is where you start. This is where you're going to start all of your, your stuff. This is how you're going to get people subscribed to your sequence or your messenger bot. There's lots of ways you can do it. You can create a bar. You can do a button. You can do a, like, these are things that you can like put on a website, um, et cetera. These are ones you like, you can use, use this to replace a landing page. You can use this to put a link. You can send somebody a link and then they're going to get subscribed to your, they're going to get a link straight to your messenger bot. 
And here you can do Facebook comments like I was explaining earlier. Facebook adds JSON, let me explain this real quick. The difference between messenger reference URL, Facebook adds JSON, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically the difference between these two, the main benefit of JSON versus messenger reference URL is messenger reference URL, you're gonna have to get them to click that. And then they have to press this little button at the bottom that says get started. So if you put this link in a Facebook ad, they have to press that get started button before they actually get a message. But JSON, it automatically send them a message when they press the button. That's really the only benefit, but JSON is a little bit, slightly bit more confusing because there is a little bit of code involved, but I, I, it is automatically generated for you. So this is to give you an outline. So broadcasting is basically if you want to send out stuff like an email list. So if you just want to create a new email, your new Facebook message you're going to send out to everybody, put it right here. Um, automation is the, is the thing that you're going to go to after your growth tool. So let me show you guys here. We'll do a quick walkthrough. So you're going to do a new growth tool. You're going to do like something like, Facebook comments, if this is what you want to do, you want to get basically, you're going to say, hey, I'm going to give you this free ebook if you comment free ebook below. Okay, so you do that, you bake that post on your Facebook page, um, and then you select the post, and you can change all these settings here. So you send a message and exclude comments. You can trigger comments. So you can trigger all comments if you don't put in anything here. Um, but if you want a keyword, you put the keyword in here, you select the post, boom, there you go. Now you're going to do a message like when they when they comment below, they're going to get automatically sent a message like this. You can alter this, of course. And basically what happens for them to get opted in, they have to reply to this in some fashion. So you can say to finish your entry for your free ebook, just reply free ebook um, one more time because they have to reply first. See, look, you can see here. They will become subscribers only if they reply to this message. So. You have to get them to reply. It doesn't matter what they reply, but just get them to reply something and then they'll get opted in once they reply. Um, and then you can choose to send an opt-in message after that, telling them to opt that they're opted in or you can not send that. But if you do not send it, make sure you, you say you can make sure you say in whatever your first message is to uh, say stop or whatever, whatever that is. So let me show you guys the one that I already have set up. It's wedding comments. So somebody have this post, they go to opt-in actions over here. And basically, this is what you can do as well. Uh, you can send them like if you do if you do choose to send a message, you create an opt-in message. And this you actually need to do this if you want to send them follow up, if you want to subscribe them to a sequence, and you don't want to just send out broadcast. So you have to do send everyone who pro replies, put your opt-in message. Um, you write that. Stay tuned for the next couple seconds. You'll receive your voucher code. Basically, is what I said. So, and then they're gonna get subscribed to the sequence. So what happens next? You have to then create a sequence that they're going to go through. And of course, it's going to be slightly different for all these growth, different growth tools. But for the most part, they're pretty similar. So that's why I'm only going to go through one in this video to save you guys time. And if you have any questions, of course, on a specific one, you can go ahead and watch the video tutorials down here that they provide for you. But this video is still going to save you a lot of time because the video tutorials that they have are, to be honest, they're a little bit confusing. So, but if you have this just general mindset that I'm kind of showing you guys right now, it's going to be a lot easier to understand because I was so confused by this layout when I first started. So automation here, main message, default reply, welcome message. You don't have to worry about these too much. This is if you want to get more complicated. This is not if you want to do a one-time thing where you're trying to do a specific post or a specific ad. This is like main menu is something if you want to set up somebody messages your page, um, you have your page set up. You know, you're a business, so you have somebody message your page, you want to get them, like when somebody pulls this up, it's basically going to pop up a main menu. They can choose a couple options like, hey, get my free ebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my website. Like you could send a main, a main menu and then they could basically choose from one of those or they could start a sequence from there. That's basically what this is. Default reply, kind of the same thing, but main menu is a, you kind of, they can return to it. I guess you'd say that's the way to explain it. Welcome message. Same thing, kind of. There's slight differences. This is just to give you an idea. You can play around with them, but for the most part, they do similar things. There's just really small differences, but I don't really worry about these too much. So keywords, you don't have to worry about this unless you want to make some keywords. This is to get someone to reply. So if someone wants to reply, subscribe to a certain thing, you can set up a keyword. Sequences. Now this is where that, that growth tool is and you plug in the sequence. So they comment. They have to reply to the messenger. The messenger bot sends them a message. They have to reply to the messenger bot. And then the messenger bot sends them a message and then it subscribes them to this specific sequence 
not the whole, not the thing as a whole, like it subscribes it to a whole and then it also subscribes them to the specific sequence. So what happens after that? It sends them a message. So you're going to do it back here. You do a new sequence and basically it's going to pull up a bunch of messages here and you do the schedule, like how long it's going to take. So we send this follow up message and this is the message that they get. You basically, you edit it over here. Pretty simple. And you can see the results on everything, how many people opened it, how many people clicked each button. Um, so as you can see, nobody actually called, but I did have a lot of people message back on this. So people actually got, I got them to message back. We also have a follow up message. So basically you can see this here. So I, I did like these little, I did them in little snippets and then I acted like it was typing and then I did a lot of, another little snippet. So it didn't seem super long. And I basically had them like reply with these, this information about you reply with your phone number, your name your estimated wedding day, your wedding location. And then I asked, the second time I asked for less questions, but you can do these like one at a time if you wanted to. And basically you can go in here, you edit your message and look what you can do now. You can add little widgets. Like, let's see, you want to, like there's so much you can do. You really drag these. You want to do, you can do like two options here. You can say like a yes, no, and then you can have the yes. You can basically drag, have that. So we're going to add a button. Yes. Yes no and check this out so you can do this and you're going to like you can create uh, a message for the people that say yes you can do a new message for the people that say no and they get sent off in a different thing and as you can tell there's so much way you can so many different things you can do with this literally anything you can think of can be done you can add pictures in these posts like you can add a little picture in here add a little image um you can add a video, like a link to a video. Like there's so many different things. It's the, literally, you guys can be creative on this. I'm just giving you an outline, ways you can use it, but that's pretty much it. So you guys, as you can see here, I have another follow-up message. So after, um, I didn't mean to mess that up, but so they get another message about 12 hours after. So it follows up with them um, to basically do that. So that's about it. And it basically just reminds them like they only have 12 hours left to claim their offer by replying their name, their number, but you guys can be creative with it. Uh, let me show you one more. So you guys can get it. one more idea. So this is the one that basically looks like this. So this is one of my things. So what you can see here is I added a tag. So when somebody says yes, they're interested in the services, I add a tag and then I send them to another message. If they say no, they're not interested in this offer. I get offer them to download the webs, download the app or visit their website. You can see all the stats here as well on how many people clicked, how many people opened. See, you can see a hundred percent open rate, a hundred percent open rate. Like that's how effective these are. It's insane. So see, like it says, you enter the giveaway, but wait to give you an amazing opportunity to try out a concierge laundry service to this message only. We're offering a special thing. So basically this is a giveaway and then I offered them something and then they do yes, no. Boom, boom, set. And you guys can kind of see it on the screen right now. That's how it all works together. So I hope you guys understand this. So let's go through a couple of things. Flow is basically, Flow is, is uh, it's kind of like the automation. It's just like a way of saving them and transferring them between files. That's really the only thing. So as you can see here, it's really similar to the, the sequences, keywords, etc. Basically, it's just so you can save them. You can move them to different accounts. That's kind of the point of the flow. So you like, yeah, that's kind of gives you there. So you can basically save your flow and then move it to another account. That's what this is kind of useful for. Or you can duplicate it, whatever you want to do. And then from there, their support is pretty good. So if you ever have questions, you can always email them as well. Now, certain features you do have to pay a monthly thing for, like once you have a certain number of people. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Messenger bots, then contact many chat support or check out some video tutorials. And then if you still can't get your question answered, um, you can like you guys can answer. You guys can ask some simple questions. If you have quick questions, you can just comment down below those and I'll try to help you out best I can. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out.